Hey there, I'm Joel Michael, and today is all about transitions. So transitions are a great way to mark the form and help build anticipation to get the listener from point A to point B. Or even if there isn't a B section in a track, it's a great way to help keep the listener engaged and guide them along. In this video, I'm gonna break down several common transitions I use in my tracks in hopes that you get some inspiration and are able to use some of these techniques in your tracks. All right, let's jump right in. All right, so I'm gonna start by showing you a loop that I have going here without any alterations to it. All right, so if that just kept going and going, obviously we wouldn't be keeping the listener's interest because we wouldn't really have a form structured, right? And there's nothing to build to or to come from. So what we're gonna do here is start at bar eight for this example. And this is gonna be common for a lot of tracks. So bar four, bar eight, uh, bar 16, depending on the tempo of the track might be some key pillar points that you want to start adding some alterations to help move your music to the next section. So I'm going to use a tried and true approach just by dropping the beat. All right. So we'll start on beats uh, four and just take out the snare on beat four. Uh, I'm going to take out the kick that happened there on uh, beat three as well. Let's see what that does. See if it helps us move into the next section. <laughs> Okay, cool, that's a good start. That might be exactly what you need and you could call it a day. Um, but you can also experiment more. Maybe we wanna take that break a little bit longer. So I'm gonna wipe out all the snares for those two bars. Let's keep the hi-hat in right here for the first bar of that phrase ending. Now I'm gonna take out um, the kick there. Let's see what happens here, I'll back it up. <laughs> So dropping the beat's a pretty, um, pretty cool approach, right? I'm gonna kind of keep it like that for now, and let's talk about another approach. So I'm sure you've heard of a tape stop. So basically, I'm gonna use a plugin that does just that, put it on my master fader, because I want every track to be affected by it. There's this cool one called Vinylizer. It's actually free, and I like it because it's straightforward and it's simple. You can grab it quick, apply it, and move on with creating the rest of the track. So um, the only control I'm worried about is my stop time, which is the milliseconds right here, and then the start and stop button I'm gonna automate. So a cool thing in FL Studio is I could literally just push this button and I can go to Tools, Last Tweaked, Create Automation Clip. And then you'll see an automation clip that shows up down here, all right? So I've already created it, right? And I just have it coming on at a point where the eighth bar ends. So the whole track is just gonna have a tape stop effect. All right, let's hear it. So definitely gonna give some more interest for the listener, something else for them to grab onto. All right, the next approach is more of a compositional approach, and it's one where we're gonna basically foreshadow at what's coming next. So in this second section here, there is an addition of a voice sample or a Mellotron. <laughs> And in addition, there is these acoustic guitar samples that come in too. So with this voice sample, that's a new element. And then these acoustic guitars are also 
a new element that just kind of capped the phrase off. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to foreshadow. So let's see. These vocal samples, I'm just going to add like little stabs of them coming in. So I'm going to go ahead and take this. Uh, just cut that last little couple beats off there. And I'm going to move it over here where I can use it in this section. I'm going to put it at the end of every other phrase. And then when it comes in there, I'm going to just cut these out of the way. So my keys, let's hear those, are going to dip out. Okay. So we're basically foreshadowing at a texture that's going to come in the next section. All right, I'm going to go ahead and... Do the same thing, pull it over here, trim these back. All right, in addition, I'm going to go ahead and pull the hats out. Uh, let's try pulling oops, the snare out as well here. It lets me grab it. I'll tell you what, let's just chop it off. Boom. Snip it back. Um, and then we'll apply the same thing here. All right, cool. Trim that back. All right, let's see what that does. I think I do like this snare hitting on that, so I'm going to keep it in here. I'll go ahead and pull that forward. All right, cool. Let's hear that now. All right, cool. Now when those vocals or that Mellotron comes in, it's a little more recognizable, right? All right, uh, let's add another subtle detail. I like this. A little phrase cap right there. I'm gonna go ahead and pull these acoustic guitars. And let's back them up to here. And you know what? This little melodic part, I'm gonna get you out of the way because these acoustic guitars are gonna play it instead. Let's see what that does real quick. Cool. So now we basically pulled some of the elements in the upcoming section back into this section. And you can do this throughout the entire section. It might work or it might be too much and give away too much of what's upcoming. And you might just want to use it just like on the, you know, last half of the phrase, whether it's an eight bar phrase using just the last four bars or if it's a 16 bar phrase using the last eight, however you see it fit. But this is a, an approach that works quite often. Okay, so let's talk about another approach we can use, which is just reversing a sound. So <clears throat> what I have here is this element that I actually used in the intro. I'll back it up to the intro of this track. Okay, let's hear that. Okay, and the main thing is this reverse element right here. So if I take this, you can see that it's basically a sample with a delay tail. Right, let's stop that. And then it's reversed. You can make these yourself if you have an instrument and you just stab a chord with delay on it, let it ring out, record that resample it in and reverse it and then you got it okay so that's exactly what's happening here a couple things to think about is the point at which it cuts off you want it to cut off right on beat or at least for this example right so right when that snare drops that cuts out let's hear it one more time Cool. So you can change the, the timing of it via your sample here with the time. 
right? I've already done that, and it's not necessarily the scope of this particular lesson. So I popped it in over here just to kind of see what it would sound like if we used it here. So it took some moving around, and on FL, it'll snap to the grid, right? If you just left click, and then you can move it on the grid. If you don't want to move it on the grid, just hold the Alt key and drag that. Cool, and that's exactly what I did to where, let's hear what that sounds like coming in at the end of this phrase. Cool, so it adds a little bit of tension, right? That's the key. Okay, so those reverse sounds are super useful. Definitely add some of those to your library. Okay, the next approach that isn't always going to work, but adds a cool flair is going to be adding fills. All right. I'm using a fill, a drum fill here, particularly. It's one that I heard in my head. So basically, I'm going to come to the pattern here. I'm using just a kick, a snare. Yeah. Ride cymbal, actually. Add some sustain and can accentuate the downbeats I want. And then a little side stick snare. And so I heard it kind of going. That's what I heard in my head. So basically, all right, and so I recreated it uh, via MIDI. Then we're going to add that fill just at the end, right? So where I cut the drums out on the last bar or so, I'm going to add this in, and we're going to see how this, this works. All right, well, I hope some of these techniques helped you out a bit and gave you some inspiration to then use in your own tracks. Go ahead and like and subscribe to this page where I'll be offering production videos every single week for you. If you have any other approaches that you use that you want to share, please leave a comment. And in addition, at this point, I'm taking requests on anything you guys want to learn. So leave a comment if there's a technique you want me to cover, and I'll do my best to make a video just for you. If you want to hear this full track, it's called Limited Visibility, and I will put a link in the comments section for you to check out. I'll also link to my social media handles, so if you want to connect and talk, you know where to find me. All right, see you soon.